30 over the last couple of years. Cody Stark joins us live from Nugget Market with more on the growing trend. Hey, fella. Rosé. Indeed. You know, in Europe, rosé has been a thing for, Mike, for how long? A couple centuries. Yeah. Like, but English. in America, the last couple years, it's just exploded. Big time. Big time. Big time. Yep. What, is, what is the deal? Why did it explode? You know, it's it's uh, very affordable. It's very unpretentious, and there's something for everybody. There's all kinds of styles. Sweet, dry, sparkling, still, you name it, you can find it in a rosé. And then it, it pairs lovely with anything. Great, great. Work. I'm having chicken. Awesome choice, <laughs> rosé. I'm having fish. I recommend rosé. I'm having a steak. Rosé. Oh, yeah. See, it pairs with everything. Uh, chocolates, the whole bit. It's, it's like a, it's a very easy thing. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get to the, the like the nitty gritty here. Sure. Um, what is rosé? I think that's where we should start right there. What is it? What's going on with the grapes there? Sure. So, so it, uh, most wine gets its color from contact with the skins during fermentation. So okay. for a rosé, they just shorten that time period, so you get a little color, not a lot of color. So oh. you'll see nice hues from light uh, salmon colored to uh, deeper darker. And uh, all shades in between. Okay, and then that lovely pink color, yep. that's the thing. Because I know Instagram was actually very instrumental for this thing because it was just it's so pretty and people take a picture exactly. of it. Okay, let's talk about different types that you like. Well, what do you like? What do you like? What's good? So, so for me, I just like, like them all that are well made. So if you want uh, sparkling with a little bit of bubbles, mm -hmm. you want lightly effervescent, or if you want still and bone dry. So I just look for a nice value, and that's the great thing about rosés. They outperform in value than I think any other category of wine. Right, so like 20 bucks, 25 oh, yeah. bucks, oh, you get a great under bottle. 20 bucks, you can get something that's considered the best in its class. Oh, okay. You can rarely find that with any other type of wine. Now, I'm a sucker for a pretty bottle, and these bottles right here right? are absolutely gorgeous. What's yep. the story there, man? Uh, so that's a great little product out of the south of France. That's the uh, Gerard Bertrand Cote de Roses, where the bottle is actually a rose when you tip it upside down. Nice. Fanta and the wine's good. It, it's good. Yep. Okay, so it's not just a pretty bottle. Not it's just, also good. Not just a pretty bottle. Okay, what else you got here, man? What do you got here? Uh, so we even got rosé in a can. Perfect for your uh, hiking, picnicking, boating, camping. When you're on the go, don't want to bring the glass, don't have a corkscrew. So all packages, all sizes. Rosé all day, every day. Every day, all day. <laughs> uh, and then oh, it, it's gone nuts. Rosé and hard cider now. Rosé's infiltrated everything. We've got rosé vodka. We've got rosé cider. You've even got rosé wine spritzers making a big comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Love the pink. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Appreciate My it. Pleasure. Thank you. Nuggets got it all. They got it all. I mean, look at all this. It's amazing. So, say five years ago, yep. how many bottles of rose would you have? We had maybe six to eight. Now we've got 50 to 60. <laughs> 50 to 60. That's crazy. Yeah, it's un unbelievable. That is absolutely crazy. All right, there you go. All you need to know about rose. Remember, it pairs with everything. I'm thinking about pizza tonight. Rose. Ah, rose. I, I, what about uh, pecan pie? Rose. Oh, okay. Gum. I'm going with Rose. Okay, Gum. Rose. Right, Gum. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Code. God, he's the best. Thanks, Code.